Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Mohammed from uh, Robi Mauk. Today uh, I will be explaining uh, the uh, Active Models Realizers uh, gem to create uh, Rails uh, API. Uh, but first, uh, let's uh, check the reasons why you should use uh, Active Models Realizers. Um, yeah. Uh, first, if you would like to use uh, uh, serializers objects instead of uh, DSL or view templates, uh, if you believe that the model uh, layer should handle the serialization of your data into uh, JSON, uh, if you are creating simple uh, JSON structure with a model named uh, based keys, uh, you don't need a lot of uh, customization. Uh, you are more comfortable using uh, inheritance uh, to create a reusable JSON. Uh, uh, you want to uh, use model like relationships, uh, as many as one belongs to, to include the children nodes. Uh, you can uh, also uh, include unrelated models and uh, no model data in a single request. Uh, as you can uh, also create uh, a complex uh, JSON object, uh, but unfortunately uh, you can't use uh, helper methods as we saw before with the GBuilder. Uh, yeah, uh, let's jump in and uh, install our gem. Let's go to the gem file and. Uh, Add here the uh, active model serializers and run the bend one start. In this tutorial, I will be uh, using the books uh, database that we uh, had before. Uh, let's uh, create our first uh, serializer Rails generate uh, serializer uh, book with this attribute ID, title, uh, language, language uh, code, and uh, number of pages. So here we define the attributes that we want to, uh, we want to handle. Here ID is duplicated because the ID might be added by default. Let's run uh, our server and uh, fetch the uh, list of books. Yeah, great, so it's, uh, it works. Uh, if we check uh, our controllers, uh, we didn't actually uh, do any change here because uh, Active Model Serializer will uh, use the uh, the correct uh, serializer with the same name. But you can uh, also, uh, if you have the different uh, serializer name, you can just uh, include the serializer here and write the uh, um, the name of the serializer. And for the index action, you can do uh, each uh, serializer, ABC serializer. And uh, now let's include the uh, the authors of the uh, book in our uh, uh, in our uh, request. So to do that, we have to define the uh, relationship uh, has many authors and uh, for that we will need uh, another serializer uh, author let's create one rails generate serializer author which will have the uh, name let's uh, check it out Here we go, the outer serializer will have to attribute ID in the name. Let's run our server again and fetch the list of books. Yeah, 
yeah, here we have uh, the authors uh, array included in the in the request. Uh, by default, uh, new serializers uh, uh, extend uh, uh, the active model uh, serializer. Uh, however, if you wish to share uh, behavior across the serializer, you can create an uh, uh, application serializer as uh, we have uh, uh, with application controller or uh, the application uh, record. Uh, for the models, so uh, let's create one application serializer. Serializer, that's RB class application serializer, which will extend the uh, active active uh, model serializer. And uh, the, this one, the book serial should uh, uh, inherit inherits from uh, application serializer in this one uh, the same. So here we can see the duplicates. For example, we can define the attribute ID. So we remove it from here and we'll remove this one from here. Let's uh, fetch our request again. It should stay the same with IDs included. Uh, if you wish to uh, use another uh, uh, name for uh, this uh, for this uh, uh, key, you just have to uh, use the attributes uh, uh, method here. And uh, and refer the key uh, name that you want to wish. So, for instance, here uh, full name. If we run, uh, if we fetch the uh, the data again, here you got full name instead of name. You can also show some uh, uh, sensible uh, data, uh, adding the uh, if. Uh, statements uh, to add some conditions so let's uh, add an attribute uh, with private uh, data for instance and here you add the if uh, uh, the if uh, condition uh, here if the is owner for example is owner you can define also this method here where you call object that's id equal to uh, current uh, current user that's id or scope that's id scope uh, by default is the current user and the object is the the uh, uh, the uh, the outer but you don't have uh, the current user so uh, we will uh, uh, we'll remove that for now we we'll comment that for now you can also uh, cache the uh, um, the uh, the response of uh, this uh, serializer. So to do that, you have to uh, add the uh, the cache key here. So let's uh, say it's uh, called book and maybe version one. We would call it version one, version two when we make changes to this uh, file. Uh, let's say it will expire in one day you can use the key to expire it uh, as you as you want but in this case it will be automatically expired uh, after one day on this example uh, every book object will be cached uh, with uh, this key uh, it's gonna be a book uh, slash v1 slash uh, uh, book that's id uh, book that's updated at so each time you uh, uh, you uh, change the this book uh, you will have to use uh, a new uh, cache key uh, let's fetch the books again yeah great 
also here you see that the first request took uh, 270 millisecond and the second one was faster to only 27 millisecond yeah uh, here uh, you can find the uh, other uh, cases in the uh, documentation here there are really plenty of uh, things that you can try out please go ahead and uh, and, uh, and try them if you have any questions please let me a comment below and I will try to uh, to answer them uh, thank you for uh, for watching and uh, see you in the next one